Yeah, okay. You tell us when... Um, okay, we'll be ready. Sean, how long before it comes to us? Goodness. I say just be prepared that Dr. Forbes is doing some radar. We've got now, now we've got a fire. We can see the flames now. I think that home was struck by lightning, or maybe there was a, we saw lightning very close, or that was, that's a gas line that's ruptured electrical, who knows. You okay? It's a very tragic scene uh, this evening in Joplin, Missouri. It's just tornado devastation as far as the eye can see and off in the distance there. Uh, beyond the firefighters there, they're doing search and rescue right now. We even have fires that are erupting in Joplin. It really is an unfolding scene. Changes minute by minute. Uh, neighbors are trying to pull. Oh, they just pulled out their dog, right? That is great. They just, uh, they just pulled the dog. He looks to be okay out of the house there. That's great news. Um, but it's just everyone is just stunned right now. They're going house to house trying to find uh, people that may still be trapped in debris. It's overwhelming for the firefighters that are here. In fact, the, um, one of the fire departments here in Joplin was even uh, damaged. We came onto the scene and just as we got here, they were pulling their own out of uh, the wreckage. They are all okay, but now they've got to respond uh, to this. And there are just ambulances lining the street at this point. The neighboring fire departments uh, have showed up to assist. Um, they are now uh, transporting uh, many, uh, we believe, injured to neighboring medical facilities. Unfortunately, the hospital that's right here cannot take any patients because the hospital has no power. It was hit very, very hard. You can see nearly every window in the hospital has been damaged. The roof severely damaged. Every vehicle in the parking lot is a total loss. They've taken all their critical care patients to a neighboring hospital, and that hospital cannot take any more patients other than life-threatening injuries to Freeman Hospital. So they've set up a triage facility this evening at Memorial Hall, asking everyone that has a non-life-threatening injury to go there. Cell phone service, as you might imagine, has been compromised. Very difficult to make a phone call here. But now that sun is setting, it's going to be very, very difficult to find people in the wreckage of the, in the debris here because you just can't see them. There's no electricity. Power is out. There are power lines down everywhere. Please be careful. If you're near a power line, you can see the cables are down, strewn along the streets here. We haven't noticed any that are live. Having said that, you don't... want to touch one and keep in mind we've got fires that are erupting as well you can see the smoke and the flames off in the distance here uh, it's just one thing after another here in Joplin on top of at least a mile wide tornado that has struck this evening some heavy machinery has come in we have seen some front end loaders and some bulldozers come in to try to clear debris from the roadways in fact the road that we're on this is 26 it's actually relatively clear and uh, the firefighters and the heavy machinery and search and rescue can actually get up the street but we can't get much farther than this but we're we're fearful that the neighborhood even farther up is more damaged and there may be more significant injuries there that's basically where a lot of the um, the firefighters have been uh, located this evening in this part of this neighborhood 
It's just regular citizens of Joplin that are trying to assist. We're trying to help some people locate their family members or the neighbors. We haven't really had much success, unfortunately, but um, we have talked already to the state of Missouri. They are efforting as quickly as possible all resources into the Joplin, Missouri area. This is in southwest Missouri, large multi-vortex tornado that has hit this town uh, this evening. The damage goes even on to uh, the west there. You look back that direction, that's the west, and that's where the tornado originated. We were actually tracking this tornado, and we believe it developed a very strong a tornado just after we intercepted it near Columbus, Kansas. We did not have a tornado at Columbus, Kansas. Formed one shortly after that and drove right through the town of Joplin. Devastation as far as the eye can see this evening on the Weather Channel. We will keep you apprised of the ongoing search and rescue this evening in devastated Joplin, Missouri. Okay. Well, at least, I, I'm not sure how many I've seen, but a few. <laughs> I 